Hi everyone! In Godot, the scene tree can become pretty hard to navigate, and this happens especially when there are a lot of abstract components. So, in this video, we're gonna make it look prettier by adding some custom icons. Now, the icons that I'm using are from Justin's 16x16 icon pack, which contains 400 colorful and actually wonderful icons that you can use for free in your project. Okay, so let us see how we can add some icons to replace these boring white and blue circles. If I go to any node that has a script attached to it, I can simply go here at the top and write down at icon. Here I can specify the path of any icon or simply drag and drop an icon and I will get the path automatically. So if I look here, for example, for object, you see that I can drag and drop it and I'm getting the path to the object. Now, surprisingly, that's it. It's actually so simple that I even considered not making this video, but there are some things that we can discuss further in order to go more in depth with this. We can go now to our other components, for example, the save component, and let's maybe uh, use this disk save icon. So I'm gonna write down here icon and drag and drop disk save, go to the sound component, and here let's look for sound. Sure, why not? So I'm gonna use this at icon here. And finally, now that we added everything, all we have to do is to simply restart the project. And as simple as that, we have our new icons. Now, while these icons are very cute and could be perfect for your Godot project, there is still one thing to note. Godot, classifies nodes by color coding them. So for example, if I were to add a new node, you see that the simple node is a white circle, the node to D is a blue circle, a control node is a green circle, and a node 3D is this reddish circle. So if we want to follow this pattern and if we want to better classify our own nodes, if we make, for example, a 2D node, it might be a good idea to give it the same color. For example, let's say that I just opened a sprite to make a piston icon. If I wanted to make it a node 2D icon, then I would have to choose the 8D A5F3 color. If I wanted to make a node 3D, I would choose FC7F7F. And if I wanted to make a control node, I would choose 8EEF97. Now you don't have to copy them from the video, I'm gonna add them in the description, but let's see how our nodes would work if we actually use this. Now even without the name, I think you can guess that this is a node 2D, this is a node 3D, and this is a control node because we are using the same colors as the colors used by the built-in nodes. So I hope this has been helpful and see you in the next one.